This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show, and today I'm pleased to have fashion and costume designer Marina Toybina on the show. Pleased to be here. Thank you for being on the Blaring Out Show. I'm excited. As a youth, you moved from Russia, where you were born, to Arizona. Now tell me about that move and how it changed you as a person. It was dramatic in a sense. Um, It was a huge culture shock being a child and having such, not just um, an adjustable move, but it was a language barrier for me, a culture barrier. But as far as how it developed me as a person, I feel like, you know, as kids, it's a growing step and it's a growing process. And where I'm at today, I'm pretty grateful for it. So when did you acknowledge that fashion was something you were interested in? Um, Since I was a little girl, I always wanted to look like my mom. (laughs) I always thought, you know, I was very fascinated by accessories, shoes, uh, theater, just costuming, music videos. It's, It's always like, it was like an automatic drawn that I had, and from there, I think it kind of escalated to more of an interest, and I went from a hobby to a career. Was it a struggle to get into the fashion industry for you? Yes, it was. You know, I'll be, I'll be honest, and we'll cut the cord. It was, and it still is. And I truly believe in what I'm doing, so I'm pushing it to its limits. I, I mean, the fashion industry is, let's just say, entertainment right. as a whole is an exclusive club. And it's very difficult to pierce the veil. Right. How did you pierce the veil? I've never been a competitor. So I think uh, having that appreciation and respect for my peers Mm. and um, being inspired by so many other designers, I've never looked at it as an exclusive club. However, I do think politics play a huge role in um, what works and what doesn't, and that's a huge disappointment to me, and I fight against that. And I think there's so much talent and brilliance out there when it comes to the fashion industry or the art side of it or music or acting, you know, which kind of ties us all together. It shouldn't be an exclusive club and talent should matter. For me, it's kind of believing in my morals and my ethics and trying to do the right thing and trying to have an honest path to my career. So I think that helps. The original branding name for your fashion designs was called Glaza. Glaza originates from um, Russian translation into eyes. It mattered a lot to me because through my work, I think we are all like captivated by human beings and what's around us. And for me, it was my world, my views. And I believe the brand captured just that as far as the kind of work I do and how I pay attention to my clients and my surroundings and inspirations. And I think it reached its point where um, I'm ready finally to kind of graduate that level of it and truly um, embody everything that I do and put my name over it. So now the new name for the brand is Marina Tobina. You are a pretty amazing person because you have worked with some of the top rock stars. We're gonna start off with Katy Perry. I actually was brought on board by the creative director, Baz, for the tour in order to collaborate with Katy's stylist, Johnny Wujak. And my goal was to enhance the idea of the dancers and everything that happened to be on stage that would complement what Katie's doing. So from there on, it was a completely collaborative experience and pretty interesting one. Actually, have history with Katie. I designed for her for her hot and cold music video a few years ago. And that was a personal um, design that was brought into the video and I was actually extremely blessed and happy because f- that moment for me kind of created history. Uh, the outfit that I did design for Katie in the matter of probably a little under 48 hours actually got put into the Hard Rock in Las Vegas wow. in a case. So that was an incredible experience for me. And I'm a strong believer that everything happens for a reason. So at that moment, I thought that was my moment, you know. And sometimes you're blessed to have the one opportunity one on one. And sometimes you continue on with those clients. So for me, I didn't expect, you know, for our paths to cross again. And so it was great to kind of a few years later reinvent, you know, seeing the growth of her style and her individuality and then being able to be introduced in the same scenario again. And it, it was an incredible experience to work on the tour. Now, did Katy Perry communicate uh, any design ideas to you during the, the, the two times you worked with her? For the music video, it was very hands-on. Um, I think because everything came down like it does in music videos mm-hmm. to the last minute. It, it was very distinct as far as like what they were looking for, what was the style, and because I wasn't the design, I mean the original designer for the music video, and it was more stylized. 
for me to be able to do cu custom pieces last minute. It was, you know, we need to know right away what needed to be done. Um, I don't even remember if I got her measurements. It was kind of one of those spare in the moments. This is what we're looking for. What do you have in mind? I sent a few sketches. It got approved and from there. And it was great because we did the fitting the following day and everything looked great. And she looked amazing in the video. And on top of that, I think I did the four bridesmaids. And then from there, I designed a few more pieces for her for the European Music Awards and then collaborated with a tour. Then you did Pink's Effin Perfect video. Yes, I did. I worked with Pink for her AMA's performance last year. And I designed everything for the stage and, of course, what she ended up performing in. It was an amazing experience and one of my favorite artists. And from there, it was a collaboration that continued through. And the video was the next um, thing that she had coming up. So from there on, we kind of continued with our journey together. Um, to me, she's just a brilliant woman. So um, the experience was unbelievable. Not only do I think the song is incredible, the mm -hmm. lyrics are great. Um, and for the five days that we were shooting the video, pretty much one of those experiences I'll never forget. So in the sense, it was personal. In the sense, it was just a great, you know, workmanship to be around her. And what did you learn from her? To not give a fuck, <laughs> you but know, and just be who you are. And um, the rest in life is negotiable. And I think it's um, being a true artist, you just live and breathe your art. And it doesn't matter what people say. And I've always been like that anyways. But I think to finally have that moment to be in the same level, because I'm not just a big fan of their art as well, I, I'm also a big fan of who they are as individuals. And to be on that level, you know, with one more incredible artist and be like, I understand and thank God there's somebody else out there that preaches the same story and lives and breathes it. It's just great to know that at least I'm on the right track. So tell me about Nicki Minaj, her personality, and how you got involved with her. With Nicki, I'm really good friends with her stylist. So from there, um, the first time we got to work together, I just got a random call if I had anything available that um, Nicki could borrow for a shoot. And I had a gray dress that we've never used, but it wasn't Nicki. So instead, um, I, I took the body of the dress and spend hours and hours figuring out how to make it Nikki and how to make it that, you know, the bubbly personality or something outrageous and crazy. And from that point on, she loved my work. And then we collaborate again on the fly video that her and Rihanna did. And um, she's a character, you know, in, in a good way, but a character. So it, it's interesting for me because um, sometimes I don't even think about how di diverse my work can be. So it, for me, it's always been like just understanding clearly who I'm working with and being able to not even look at their career as a whole, but concentrate on who they are. And then from there, just seeing that there's the outrageousness, you know, the, the strength of an artist and, and everything else that, com that comes with it, it's easier for me to design because then I know exactly how to make each one different, how to cater to what their needs, how to make sure that I'm not changing who they are, you know, and that my work suits them. Because sometimes as a designer and all of us, it doesn't mean you can relate. And it doesn't mean my work is for everyone. So it was great to be able to have that moment to breathe her in, design something cool, and then from there, it, it continued to be a great little collab on the video. You also worked with the queen of pop, Britney Spears, on yeah. her You Want a Piece of Me video. Yeah. Awesome song. Yeah. Now break that down for me. I've always been a Britney fan. So for me, getting that call, and I think I pushed for it, I manifested that one. Um, it was day and night, Britney, Britney, Britney. But once again, I, I respect her heart. I think, you know, what she's been through has been it's such an inspiration for me to be able to have that strength and survive the entertainment industry, because we all know it's not easy. Mm -hmm and just being inspired by her in general. And I think once again, it was such a great song. And to be able to work with her on that was um, just a dream come true. And I understand, I, I was able to understand exactly what she was going through at that time. And being able to be a supporter, a friend, a stylist, a designer, all in ones, you know, once it's gonna go down in my books. And I think she's incredible. And it was easy. 
And it was easy because there's a respect level from her as well, which is great being able to explain exactly what she's looking for and then having her opinion on set. And from there, we made it happen. And then you worked with Miley Cyrus on her Gypsy Heart tour. I think it's my hidden passion now to do mu music tours. I, after that, I'm a little obsessed. The chaos that went into it was incredible, but the outcome was breathtaking for me. Miley is somebody I think has such a big say as far as what she really wants. And I, w I was personally very intrigued by that, that being at 18, you know, and being a child actress and then going into music, it's not an easy transition for mm -hmm. a lot of people. And with her and the idea of the tour, it was just so pure and amazing, you know, and it was about love and it was about respect and combining um, her fans with her ideals. So to be able to get inspired by that and being a costume designer on that tour is just, you know, a dream come true for a lot of people. I was able to bring the rock side, which is more me, intertwined with her creations and her ideals and her inspirations and combine it as a full tour it was such a great experience for me. And I did get to go on the road for the first couple of weeks with her. And that moment being on stage before she came out and just looking at all those fans, that was the first time in my life that I was like, I did that. You know, and in about five seconds, they're gonna see what I did. So for me, it was truly like such an inspiration and such a changing experience in my life as well. What right? do you think of Lady Gaga and what she's doing for fashion? I think it's interesting. I think it's, um, Igniting, I think it gave a lot of designers a break, which is amazing. Don't you think it's important what she's doing? There's so much talk about people always say, well, she's a freak. Right. Uh, she, what the hell is she doing? Why is she showing up in an egg, right. you know, at the Grammy Awards? And to me, my opinion is you just don't get it. Right. This is the entertainment business. She is entertaining people. It is giving a, it is giving people a distraction from the mundane life. Oh, of life. course, of course. I think all the time uh, people are being judged because somebody else is uncomfortable or they are uncomfortable. You know, in that sense, I think it's a, um, there's an artistic brilliance to her mm -hmm. as an entertainer, and that's the key. You know, it's when you're trying to create this mass of movement in a sense, which I think what she did, um, you have to make people feel uncomfortable. You have to have them kind of like raise up from their seat and be like, do I want to look, do I not? Does it make sense? I'm over it. But that's the great part is, you know, with her or anybody else, when you step over those boundaries, you're going to get that recognition, whether you like it or not, whether it's going to be good or bad. So I think being able to push and be different and um, be a positive about it and be able, able to defend what you're doing is great, you know, and I support her in that sense completely. One of the fashion designers that you respect, because I'm a big fan of right. his also, is Terry Mugler. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. It just doesn't get any better than that. It's almost like his brand has been uh, reinvigorated by the fact that Lady Gaga is wearing right. a lot of those designs right. now. What I admire most about him is the construction and the detail and there is that futuristic but still very aged sense to his designs, which is just brilliant to me. And of course, like between him, Hussein Shalaya, McQueen, Galliano, like to be able to understand fabric, to be able to understand construction from an artistic, architectural, and very practical side at the same sense, you're just a genius right there. You have a dream of designing for Barbie. I would love to have a signature Barbie. Okay. I would love to. Um, have a collection that once again re-inspires the little girls and the adults, because I collect them. Um, to me, Barbie just represents everything in such a pure form and what a female should be, you know? And not in a realistic sense, but more of an imaginary side. And I think a lot of us love the dream world and won't. Some will admit to it, some won't. But it's that fantasy land where everything is beautiful and it's, fun and it's peaceful, you know, and you look at the detail and you're like, wow, and something so moving about a Barbie that's classic and it, it, it would truly be an honor to be able to collaborate with Mattel. The Blaring Out Show.